Hi, everybody. We are here, as most of you know, for cameras. And I am very delighted to be here with these really great musicians. We'll start with a poem, not by me, in this trying to explain how we relate, I hope, not just the rhythms of poetry, but the melodies of poetry, too. Pitch is quite important in speech. Uh, we sing when we speak the English language. And uh, we'll go back to uh, the 16th century or early 17th century, and I will read a poem to you. It was a period when most people who read poetry also sang. Very often they could sing harmony. Uh, books were actually printed with the parts in the book facing in different directions, so people could hold the book amongst themselves and, and uh, sing parts. So first I'll say this poem to you, in effect a cappella, and uh, then I will do it with my friends. The poem is by Ben Jonson. It is Ben Jonson's His Excuse for Loving. His Excuse for Loving. Let it not your wonder move, lest your laughter that I love. Though I now write fifty years, I have had and have my peers. Poets, though divine, are men some have loved as old again. And it isn't always face, fortune, clothes that give the grace, or the feature, or the youth. But the language and the truth with the ardor and the passion give the lover weight and fashion. If you then would hear this story, first prepare you to be sorry that you never knew till now either whom to love or how, but be glad along with me when you learn that this is she of whose beauty it was sung. She shall make the old man young, keep the middle age at stay, and let nothing high decay till she be the reason why all the world for love may die. <laughs> your wonder move, lest your laughter that I love. Though I now write fifty years, I have had and have my peers. Poets, though divine, are men, some have loved as old again, and it isn't always face. Clothes or fortune gives the grace, or the feature, or the youth. But the language and the truth, with the ardor and the passion, gives the lover weight and fashion.
If you then would hear the story first, prepare you to be sorry that you never knew till now either whom to love or how. But be glad along with me when you learn that this is she of whose beauty it was sung. She shall make the old man young, keep the middle age at stay, and let nothing high decay till she be the reason why all the world for love may die. So, as I hope you could hear, there's a melody in the words, and there's rhythms in the words, and there's a feeling. And that feeling, if the musicians are listening, and if I'm listening to them, that feeling can combine in a kind of conversation. The rhythm and melody of the words, and the rhythm and melody of the music. <laughs> 